got even a coat of arm of my proposal and um, I'll explain the meaning of every part of it. We're gonna start by this monticule here. This is um, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It's called you ruling. You see that far green, that land? Mm -hmm. Okay, that represents the island of Irumi. This one here represents Africa. Mm. Right? Now in Yurumi, the Carib and Arawak have mixed together yeah. yes. and they lived in the island, they inhabited the island. And over here is the black African. Now this Rukuma is a symbol of a bridge. Yes. The Rukuma is this artifact right here that we use to extract the juice from the cassava, mm -hmm. right? In order for us to make ereba. Yes. So that's what it is. And this pestle here, old one, is uh, the foot of the bridge. It's holding the bridge. Yeah. They're both holding the bridge. And if you notice, this green section here is mainland Central America. Mm -hmm. So the bridge is connected to, to Central America, creating a connection between Yurumi, Africa, and Central America. Mm -hmm. That tells you our history. Sea, yeah. and then we work in as a seaman. Yes. So we use the sea a lot, the seafarers. Yes. Yes. That's what this boat is. Then coconut leaves symbolizes all coconuts on all Garifuna villages. You know, the coconut yes. is well known as protection from the hurricanes. Yes. Because our home were Murisi, they yes. were very fragile. Yes. They they were protected by the coconuts and the same most of our and also most of our foods are prepared with coconuts. Yes. So coconut is very important to our daily lives mm -hmm. as Garifuna people. Then we have the sun. The sun is always hope, symbol of hope, right? For, for a new day yeah. for, for Garifuna. Then we also have the drum. This drum is a mean of communication. Yeah. It, it's, it tells us a lot of things in the way, depending how it's played. That's how you understand whether what you're gonna dance or there is something occurring in the village. The hana is an instrument used to be able to prepare uh, the machuca. Mm -hmm. We call it udutu. But the hana is an African instrument, right? This is an instrument of our ancestor from Africa. While the drum is an Arawa Carib instrument. Mm -hmm. This is not African. This is, at least in America, at least 200 to 400 years before Christ. So when our people were born in Yurumi, their mother family already had drums mm -hmm. and that's how we adapted the drum that's why you cannot find the drum the type of drum we use we can you cannot compare it to any drum in Africa to find a replica but you do find it with the Arawak people in Dominica in other places in South America mm -hmm. now uh, this artifact here and this other one here these are to prepare the cassava the cassava is a staple food yeah. mm -hmm. and the cassava is originated in South America and uh, with the native people, you can see this image here. These are yes. native, you know, Thank preparing you cassava. the cassava exactly in the same way we prepare. So this is from our mother ancestry, you know. So that's why it's important to show that we do have our instrument and we are able to prepare our own food, yeah. you know. The eyes. The eyes is a symbol of our ancestors. You know, our ancestors, are always guiding us. We have them in dreams, we have them in our core, you know, we, we know that, that there is something higher than ourselves guiding us, telling us that we have to remain together, that we are brothers and sisters, that we are one people, that we are one nation, that we have one history. We were exiled together and then we survived together 220 years now because we feel the guidance of our ancestors and then we believe that there were people here before us that they did something here before us. We are not the one that created this world where we live today. Some people were here before us and we call them our ancestors and they have spirit. And we also have spirit. They say that people are more spirit than water, more spirit than, than matter, right? So we are very spiritual people and we believe in our ancestors for that reason. And the tear of blood 
is to never forget the atrocities that happened to our people, especially in, in Yurumi, in the island of Yurumi. They uh, killed our people when the colonizers, the colonizers came to invade our land. You know, they killed our people. They burned our, our, our farms. They burned our homes. They destroyed a lot of things of our prosperity in, in our motherland. So we cannot forget that. And then what about the exile? You know, before the exile, they put five, over 5,000 people in the island of Pequé, uh, and then they transported them to Baliso. And eventually only half of those, people, less than half survived. And they were put on ship, 11 ships, and they shipped them to Central America. That is not something sweet. That's something that we should never forget because we will be kicking out of our motherland, the only land that we knew, mm -hmm. you know. But despite that, we remain together. But the tear of blood is for us never forget so it will not happen again. Mm -hmm. And then we have to bond together because together we went through all that struggle. Mm -hmm. Now, um, let's go to this band here. This band, we have to remember that we are a matriarch. The woman is very important in the Garifuna culture and she always wrapped her head <laughs> with the Muswe. So this is the Muswe of the woman. People say, why is that the bottom? Because that's, the, that's, that's our foundation, the woman. Yeah. You know, today, the yeah. woman is what leads the Garifuna community and we don't even know it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When the feminism came, it didn't affect us. In every Garifuna community, the Garifuna woman will elect a man to be the president of the patronato, right? Mm -hmm. And then a couple of men to, to support yes. him. Yes. But when there is a general assembly to tell them what to do, yeah. who's the majority there? Okay. Maybe a 75% is women, mm -hmm. you know, it's female. So they tell us what to do, but we're not even aware of it. <laughs> <laughs> and besides, when at first, we learn our language from her. Mm -hmm. We learn the Arawak language from our mother, mm -hmm. and then later we learn the Carib language from our father. Mm -hmm. So the, the, this is what symbolized in this head wrap. Mm -hmm. And then it's written Garifuna Barua means Garifuna Nation. Du Sulida Isura, Milu said, this is April 12, 1797, the day that we landed to a foreign land in Central America after being put in exile. Mm. This is the date of the Garifuna Settlement Day to Central America, before we went to Belize, before we went to Nicaragua, Nicaragua. to Guatemala, yes. and to the United States, we landed in this date. Yeah. Now, we have the machete. If you notice, machete is a, is a working tool yes. to be able to clean the land, yes. right? And it's inserted in the land on purpose. It's mm -hmm. telling us that we have to work the land. Yes. We have to get prosperity from what we can do with the land. Mm -hmm. That's the reason mm -hmm. why we have a lot of land, and that map tells you all the territories that Garifuna people have. And we have left with the, uh, we're now left with the, what is that, a weapon? A sword. This is a sword. A sword is not something that you're gonna work the land with, mm -hmm. but it's also inserted on the land. It means that we have to fight the land at all costs. Yeah. Because the Garifuna people were all about land. Mm. When they were in Yurume, they fought to the death for their land and their freedom. And then today, we are still on the struggle to preserve our land in Central America because the government and the rich people want to get us out of there. So it's a never-ending struggle. Right. So therefore, we need to use our strategies. It's all symbolized on, on this sword and with that, said, oh, we have the Sisira. Mm -hmm. The Sisira, the Shakers, is, um, is a symbol of our spirituality. Mm -hmm. These are used in Amali Hani, in the Dugu, right? It's very instrumental. There is no Dugu, no Amali Hani, if there is okay. no Sisira. Mm -hmm. So because we are a spiritual people. Before we became Catholics, before we became Jehovah Witnesses, and you name it, we were already spiritual people in, and we believe in brotherhood. We believe in love, in caring for one another. That's why when someone dies, we all go and support 
the family that have the loss mm -hmm. and they're not going to do anything we would pro provide the coffee the the community provide the sugar yes. the bread everything is provided by the community yes. up to the last moment of setting and mm -hmm. putting it to the cemetery right sure. and also when someone builds their home you just have to put the structure and we set the roof for you mm -hmm. the community comes and put the roof together we clean our community, we build a school yes. system in, in, in our schools, in, in our communities. We are very autonomous. We do things on our own. Yes. Because we are spiritual people. Yeah. That's what our spirituality tells us to do. So that concludes the presentation of the emblem. Now, the colors of the flag, um, <clears throat> according to what is said at NGC, National Garifuna Council Black, mm -hmm. uh, it represents the African ancestry of the Garifuna people. And yellow represents the um, Carib Arawak ancestry of the Garifuna people. There is an uh, issue about the, the, the location, the location whether the black should be on top or should be yellow on top. Now, this is my own reasoning, right? Based on my uh, investigation with our people. They said, if um, Carib Arawak are represented in the yellow and African ancestry <coughs> is represented in black, then what is older? Which one have more weight as race? Exactly, it's the black. Because first of all, humanity were born in Africa. It is known, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Scientifically yes. proven. So therefore, it's the mother of those two races in this flag. Mm -hmm. So it's the foundation for these two races in this flag. Therefore, should it go up? Should it go up? Mm -hmm. Foundation always go at the bottom because that's where everybody else is resting. Everybody else depend on the foundation. Mm -hmm. Now, what is more important to the Garifuna, if we were to put it that way, either the African or the Carib Arawak, who we are today, what do we speak and what do we eat? We have more food coming from the cassava mm -hmm. than coming from the African ancestry. Our language is about 70% Carib Arawak and maybe 3% or 4% African. So our language is mostly carried Arawak. What about our culture? Even the drumming that we do, you know? Yes. So our culture is mostly carried Arawak. So there is more uh, participation on the carried Arawak in our culture than the African, except the fact, the fact that we are black. Right. Because of course, we are proud black people. Yes. But you know, we have to acknowledge you know what is Both true about our our, mixtures, our yeah. mixture, yeah. right? So that's for if importance is put between these two, the Carib Arawak has more participation in the creation of the Garifuna. Besides, thanks to the Carib Arawak, there is Garifuna because they were the one who saved the black that arrived to the island of Saint Vincent. Yes. Reason why we were born in Saint Vincent. Remember, Saint Vincent. Is our motherland because yes. we were born there. Yes. There is no Garifuna people in Africa. Africa has the black people, which yes. we are yes. as, as people. But our ethnicity is mainly Carib mm -hmm. Arawak, and we were born in Saint That's the reason why no African country can can claim Garifuna their own because right. we don't exist there as mm -hmm. Garifuna right. as Garifuna ethnicity. So. Thank you for listening. Yes. Thank you for watching. Yes. And this concludes my presentation about the beautiful Garifuna flag. And the white is the bringing together of the two, mm -hmm. the transition between two and black African ancestry in peace. Mm -hmm. Some people want to put peace on the white. Why? To me, that would be feeding the fact that a black cat is bad, black bird is bad. A black day is bad. Mm -hmm. Therefore, everything that is black is bad, exactly. and black cannot be peace. Mm -hmm. But white is purity. White dog is, uh, you know, mm -hmm. sanctity and all that. To me, black could be peace also because yes. between these two races, black is more peaceful. Yes. If you're gonna put a 
race meaning yeah. to this. Right. Black is more peaceful. Look at the history. Yes. Thank you. The history is so